Site Styles, Page Safe, Font Pro, CMS Core. Where do I put all these stacks? Let's figure it out. Hey everybody, Joe Rickman here. And you know, Stacks has evolved over time. And there are now a lot of stacks that actually don't put any content on our page, right? There are things like my page safe stack, which allows you to lock a page. It's awesome, right? Then we have SEO helper from foundation and we have site styles and we have total CMS and easy CMS stuff. So that like the CMS core and the admin core stack. And then we have things like font pro, which has font families and font styles. And none of these things actually put content on our page. So where do we put these stacks? What order should they go in, right? Do they go on the bottom of the page? Do they go on top? Can I throw them in the middle, right? Does it, does it matter if one's on top of the other, right? So let's dive in and I will show you what I recommend um, and how to order all these things. Now, obviously, all of the stacks that I mentioned in here are, are my stacks, right? Um, I don't know, I'm sure there's other, you know, type of config stacks out there but I'm just gonna review all of the things that I know about and I'm aware of and the order in which I recommend that you add them in and why. So um, let's jump into Rapidiver and see why. So here I've created just a sample Rapidiver project file that contains all the possible like non-content based stacks from me, okay? And as you notice here, there's a lot of stuff here, right? I mean, a lot. So what order do we need to put these things in? So let's go from top to bottom. Now, PageSafe, I recommend that if you're using PageSafe or if you're using the CMS Protect stacks, so Easy CMS Protect or Total CMS Protect, okay, they behave very similarly to PageSafe. And I recommend that that be the very first thing on your page, okay? So first thing in a page. That way, um, whenever the server is serving up the page, the, it knows immediately as soon as possible whether or not um, it needs to password protect this page. So I recommend without a shadow of a doubt that if you're using protect or page safe, it is at the very top of your page, okay? Now what's great with a lot of these is, let's just go ahead and collapse that, right? SEO helper. This is the next thing that I think should be on the page, okay? Um, because it, it basically takes your meta tags and inserts them into the head, the page header right? Which is above your page content anyway, right? So let's just go ahead and insert SEO helper um, towards the top of the page. If you're not password protecting the page, SEO helper is going to be right at the top, okay? Um, you can have multiple SEO helpers on the page um, if you're partialing things and all of that strategy, right? But um, so SEO helper is next. Next, if you're using um, easy CMS or total CMS, I recommend putting the CMS core just towards the top as well. To be honest, this particular stack could really be anywhere, um, but I recommend just throwing it up at the top. If you have a lot of other content kind of type of stacks or non-content stacks like site styles and stuff, just throw it up towards the top um, and then it'll kind of be up where everything else is, okay? Next up is site styles. And this is obviously with foundation. Um, and so if you're using foundation, this is gonna define all of your style defaults for your entire site or this web page, right? So site styles is very important. Um, this is kind of the first place where we def start defining actual styles, okay? Um, and that's an important uh, differentiator, okay? Because um, the next stack on this list is admin core. And this is, um, if you're using easy CMS or total CMS, this is gonna be that you you only add this to your admin pages, right? You won't add this to your content pages. But if you have a admin page for the CMS, I would then add your admin core below site styles. This is so site styles can set the defaults and then admin core can then inherit those and maybe override a few things that it needs um, to make sure that the admin interface looks correct. Okay, so admin core should be directly below site styles. Next up is gonna be font pro. So font families, okay. Um, this is important that it shows up after site styles, okay, because if you happen to define anything in site styles, font pro will then override that with the settings that you need inside font pro, okay. 
So again, site styles and then font families or font pro. And that includes font families and then font styles, right? Now, does it really matter if you have font families and then font styles or font styles and font families? Not really. I just think setting the families first just makes sense in terms of an order, right? Um, and then so you have your families and then your font styles. So here's everything in the list, right? We have page safe, SEO helper, CMS core, site styles, admin core, font families, font styles. Woo, that's a lot of stacks, right? Now, how do we potentially, like that's a lot, just even when I collapse them, that's taking up quite a bit of space inside edit mode, right? So obviously a strategy is you're gonna wanna partial these things because chances are you're gonna wanna utilize a lot of these settings across multiple pages. So what you can do is, as you see, I've thrown all of these into a one column and then you just simply partial that. Click the partial button and we're gonna create a partial based on that, right? Now what's cool is once you're actually in the partial, you probably can, can expand all of these, right? So um, you go through and you can expand all of these. Then once you're on your page, all you need to do is simply collapse your partial. So now I have all of my like page site configs inside of a single partial that if I ever need to access that or, or preview it, I can just unhide it and see all of the contents inside there. And obviously like a partial, you can double click it and then you can actually go into the partials editor to edit those settings and those stacks. Okay, so as you see, um, that is kind of the order, right? And there's a lot of stacks, right? But I hope you like that partial idea, right? And obviously maybe you have a couple partials depending on your strategy on how you're importing content on what pages, right? But, you know, the order is pretty important, right? Some things are less important than others, right? But hopefully this gives you some clarity and, you know, makes you more comfortable in terms of where you should order things on your page. So I hope you found this video useful. I will talk to you guys later. Take care, bye.